All right, I've got another really awesome video for you today about the Polaroid Go. Quite possibly one of my all-time favorite cameras just because of the size and the portability. And it has been noted that this is pretty much the same price as the Polaroid now, which is a full-size Polaroid camera. But you get some pretty cool features with the Polaroid Go that you don't get with any other camera at all available on the market. This is a one of a kind right here. The design is obviously pretty cool. I love the fact that this has a retro throwback feel to it. It's just really amazing that Polaroid has managed to keep their image alive all of these years and still create something that looks sleek and modern and minimal and they did it well. You do get this really red carrying strap, wrist strap with it. That's okay, I don't necessarily dislike the red. I think it definitely stands out in contrast to the white of the camera. There are no other colors of this though, so you're going to have to go with the white unless they come out with something in the future. Uh, I really think though their main focus with this is the white color because they've stated multiple, multiple times that right now their focus is the original Polaroid design that they've come out with and they're not concerned with colors at the moment. That's cool, that's okay. The white looks good, it is definitely a classic. Did I mention that this fits into the palm of your hand? So I've been asked many times by you guys how this performs outdoors with landscape photos, different lighting situations, and so I wanted to really test that out. I took an entire pack of film with me, and went outside, and I got some photos, some of which turned out really awesome and some of which I want to discuss with you why they didn't turn out so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. So let's go ahead and look at some of the outdoor photos with the Polaroid Go, including landscape photos, and we'll see how that turned out because I know a lot of you are planning on using this on the go, which is the intended purpose of the Polaroid Go. One thing that you will notice is the photos have a very cool tone to them, and usually Fuji has that cool tone reserved for their photos, and Kodak and Canon are a little bit more warmer. Polaroid's got cool tones in their too and you'll see what I mean. This one was taken outside. I took it of just some steps and some railing that I was walking down and it turned out okay. A little bit dark. I turned the flash off for these because I thought, you know what, it's really sunny outside. It was more or less overcast. It wasn't that sunny and I could have used the flash to get some more vignetting around the edges but overall that one turned out pretty good. This next one is of a tree and this is a really dark tree to begin with. It's mostly branches and dark colored leaves. It's not green at all, so I can't blame it for not having a lot of green in that photo. I've gotta say the harshness of the sun coming from up above and then the, the tree itself didn't work out in this photo's favor. The next photo I actually really like. I go for a lot of different architectural photos and photos that do angles and different cool looking things. And this was an angle that I thought was pretty cool as I was walking down some steps, I just tilted the camera a specific way and I think it turned out quite nicely. Obviously not my best photo, but this camera is not meant for your professional photographer. It's really meant to just have fun. This next one is of a rug in my house. That one is not outdoors, but I loved the pattern and I wanted to see without flash if it could capture that. And it did a pretty good job. All right. So this next one is of something that's very green, and I was expecting it to be very green and to really pop, but I've gotta say, I like how it turned out. It is of a, uh, like some weeds and bushes, and the color that came out of this, I do like it. Again, more cooler tones than I was expecting. Now these next two are quite possibly my favorite shots out of the entire pack, and there's some other ones that I'm not gonna show you just because they weren't really pertaining to this video. I've got those safe for other stuff. I'm gonna show you both of these at the same time just so you can get a really good idea of what you can do with the Polaroid Go. This one here's my favorite just because I love how the sun is peeking out from those clouds and it really illuminates the sky, gives it a bright, vibrant blue color. I love that, I think that just turned out so nicely. And this one here, it was evening and the sky was a little bit darker, but I do love how it turned out too. I think that these both were probably my favorites out of the entire bunch, this one being my absolute favorite. So yeah, you can take outdoor photos and you can take landscape photos and some nature shots, but I really think where this camera shines is going to be photos of people, selfies, indoor photos with the flash on, or even photos where it's not super sunny outside with the flash, or if it is super sunny, using no flash. Either way, I think that you can get some pretty amazing photos with the Polaroid Go. There's never been a camera this portable 
and this unique and for those reasons alone it's something that I keep with me and I've got to say obviously you guys like it too and everybody else out there likes it because Polaroid is selling out of these and running out of stock every time I check their website they're sold out of these or they're sold out of the film and I've even been on wait lists for the film finally got some film in the mail after waiting forever for them to get it back in stock but my advice is if you're interested in one of these don't wait because the other cameras are going to stay in stock. The Polaroid Now has been in stock forever. It's a great camera too. It has amazing quality when it comes to the photos, but I've never been worried about the Polaroid Now selling out or the Polaroid Now film selling out. However, this stuff, it's really hard to get the film. I will say, because of its size, if you're not the type of person who likes tiny photos or sees a use for them, then you might want to go for the Polaroid Now instead of the Polaroid Go. I personally like them both for different reasons. I think this one's fun to just take to family events and things and snap a few quick photos that you might use in a scrapbook or send in a card later on throughout the year or, or just all sorts of really cool uses like that. Maybe give one to your friend if you're in high school, maybe stick it in your locker or your workspace if you have an office all sorts of really cool uses for this, but I've got to say you're going to either love or you're going to hate the size, and I've got a full in-depth review on the Polaroid now on my channel, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Polaroid now videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and you like film cameras and film photography and all that cool stuff, and I'll see you guys later.